651, time for the morning sprint. We start with some breaking news overnight. Police are looking for a teenager after a deadly mall shooting in the Fox Valley yesterday. Officers in Grand Chute say 17-year-old Desmond Ellis could have a weapon on him and might be dangerous. They're looking for the blue car up there on your screen right now. The license plate number is right below it. The shooting happened around 3.30 yesterday afternoon at the Appleton Area Mall. When officers got there, they found two people who'd been shot. 19-year-old Giovanni Frausto was one of them. Frausto died from his injuries. The other victim has been released from the hospital after getting treated. It's a new era for the Madison Police Department. Dr. Sean Barnes will be sworn in as the city's next chief this morning. Dr. Barnes will take over for interim chief Vic Wall, who's been leading the department since September of 2019. Barnes started his career as a patrol officer in North Carolina back in 2000. He most recently served as director of training for the Office of Police Accountability in Chicago. A virtual swearing-in ceremony begins at 10. The man accused of killing a father on the side of a Dane County road last year is due back in court this morning. 22-year-old Riley Berg is charged with first-degree intentional homicide and Nicholas Day's killing. A passerby found Day's body in January of 2020. An autopsy found Berg had been shot and stabbed. Berg will be reassessed for his competency today after being found not competent to stand trial back in November. Green County will start to vaccinate folks at its first clinic today. The Moderna vaccine will be available to county residents who are 65 or older. You have to make an appointment with the clinic. It runs from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. today, and vaccine availability is limited. So once the appointments are filled, there won't be any more until the next clinic. Milwaukee will start vaccinating older adults at the Wisconsin Center today. The city had delayed the vaccinations because supply was limited. The mass vaccination site is open to all seniors by appointment. The city is still working to vaccinate people in Phase 1A, like health care and long-term facility workers. The state added seniors to Phase 1B on January 25th. The Biden administration is expected to boost vaccine supplies nationwide this week. President Biden made the announcement last week. He vowed to increase supply by 17 percent to help mitigate the effects of shortages. The CDC has planned to make around 10 million first and second doses available. That's up from last week's 8.6 million. AstraZeneca will deliver 9 million additional doses of its COVID vaccine at the European Union. This comes days after the company said that it would cut supplies because of production problems. The EU says this means the company will expand its manufacturing capacity in Europe and will start deliveries sooner than expected. AstraZeneca has been doing clinical trials at UW Hospital in Madison for the past few months. Johnson & Johnson is set to ask the FDA for emergency use authorization for its single-shot vaccine this week. Trial results show the vaccine is 85% effective against severe illness. Overall effectiveness from trials in the U.S. specifically had the vaccine at 72%. Developing right now, Myanmar Military TV says the military is taking control of the country for one year. The military says the takeover is partially because of the government's failure to act on claims of voter fraud in a country's November election. It's a sharp reversal of the partial progress toward democracy made in recent years following five decades of military rule. Reports say one of the country's senior politicians has been detained. The move is receiving widespread international criticism this morning, including from the White House. In a statement, Press Secretary Jen Psaki hints at possible U.S. involvement if the situation worsens. She says President Biden has been briefed and that the administration is alarmed. Psaki says the U.S. is against any attempt to change the outcome of recent elections and will take steps if the actions aren't reversed. In-person absentee voting in Madison for the upcoming spring primary starts tomorrow. Ballot drop boxes are open across the city. They're the same ones you used for November. You can find your nearest polling location or request an absentee ballot on myvote.wi.gov. It's Girl Scout cookie season, and Grubhub is helping the troops sell in a COVID-safe way. The online food delivery service is waiving its traditional fees to avoid cutting into troops' earnings. Today is the first day you can order the cookies through Grubhub. Delivery will be free through Valentine's Day with a minimum $15 purchase. Snow plows are still trying to clean up after this weekend's snowstorm, which is why the city of Madison has declared a snow emergency. Cars need to follow alternate parking rules this morning until 7 and then again tonight. We are, of course, watching another chance for snow in the forecast, but today is going to be a day that is full of sunshine. Expect those temperatures topping out to the mid to upper 20s. That next chance for snow comes our direction by the time we get you towards the latter half of the week. This is Wednesday and into Thursday. Some of the models do have us just warm enough for rain and freezing rain to be a component with this. So we will have to watch this system closely. Another thing that is almost a sure bet is the cold that is to come by the time 
time we get you towards this time next week. Some of the temperatures and wind chills are downright brutals. The core of that cold could settle in right on top of us here in the upper Midwest. 28 today, 30 tomorrow, and then we have the cold front with the snow chance Thursday and into Friday. By next Sunday and Monday, we struggle to get out of the single digits for those highs. Thanks, Chris. Thanks for watching, folks. We'll see you tomorrow.